Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new gameplay objective for Fauna Car to review today. And he looks pretty exciting to be honest because he has a lot of good links and very good areas because he plays for Leicester City and he also has the French nationality while also playing in the Premier League while also on top of that, looking like a really good center back right so he's six foot three medium high work rates three star three star uh the six foot three heights definitely going to be very nice he does also have the high and average plus body type right so already starting off real hot with this card right in regards to his in-game player traits he does not have any uh he's got 81 acceleration with a 78 sprint speed which is very good i like that the acceleration is a little bit higher than the sprint speed because it's all about being able to accelerate into the play really quickly so obviously we're going to be boosting it up to a 91 while giving him 88 sprint speed uh with the cards shooting he's got 71 attacking positioning with 54 finishing at 83 for shot power while having 88 penalties so you know if you ever find yourself inside the 18 yard box the ball bounces a certain way inside of a uh inside of the 18 yard box for the corner kicks or the free kicks he could potentially score them with the shot power that he has maybe right uh with this card's passing his passing is very good for a center back as well with 80 vision 90 for short passing and 83 for long passing uh dribbling for a center back obviously we're going to be testing out in game and seeing whether or not it's a big influence on the card but it looks pretty decent for a center back uh we're going to see again if it's a hugely influential thing on the game uh 73 agility with 70 balance that's going to be very interesting to work with the six foot three height and the high and average plus body type now, his base card stats for defending is actually in very good areas because when you give this card the Shadow Chemistry style, the only thing that's generally lacking on the card is defensive awareness at 89. But usually with center backs, it's really not that big of an issue. What's really important is that, uh, you know, positioning wise they're good enough and you know they obviously have certain animations that make them top tier meta low tier meta all that kind of stuff right so uh definitely gonna be very interesting in regards to that and then with this card's physical his physical stats for base card stats is already very good which is very important because of the high and average plus body type that he has while being six foot three while having 89 strength 81 for aggression 81 stamina at 92 for jumping right so with a card like this uh i do mostly see it being used in a four at the back formation but obviously for the player view we are going to be testing him out in the center center back position center center back i don't know why i keep doing this i, I couldn't tell you guys i really couldn't uh but we're going to be using him in the center back position right um yeah fofana nelson smell deal with a lot this team is like is just nice Jerome felix is probably the only one that's off because i only like him in the cam position you guys know the memes uh but i'm going to use him in the center back position with just stay back while attacking we'll, we'll tell these guys to play as a striker or join the attack maybe you know just to really force some situations out of Fofana over here these guys will keep them on balanced as well yeah we'll keep them on balance we we'll even put cup pass lane why not but uh the whole point of the review obviously is to test out Fofana and see if he's actually a good card in game so uh yeah let's get into a game and see how he plays Okay, so this guy has a really... Oh, I like that he has Jack Grealish because Jack Grealish is aggressive by default. So that's going to be interesting to work with for sure. I'm kind of excited about this, man, because he, he gives me like Tomori vibes, maybe, you know? Like a lot of really good French center backs that have been released recently. So we'll see what the vibes are, man. I like that in that play, he was able to accelerate really quickly, which is awesome. I need to test out his dribbling because I want to see... If it's like a huge hindrance with his height. He's freaking massive in game, by the ways. Yeah, this dribbling, guys, for a really tall player like him and physical, it's going to be very nice. Already fits that meta criteria for sure. There we go. A little bit of overcommitment. I just wanted to see what he'd be like pushing back in that situation as well. Does a really good job. I think this is going to be a really cool gameplay objective card to give to the community because, man, the links that you can work with this card while having a good center back is going to be dope, dude. Ball roll touch. You know the memes, boys. You know the memes. I like his transitioning there, man. It wasn't bad at all. He doesn't feel like super heavy, guys, which is very important. He's not emphasized to uh, move to the left and right. That's good. So it's not like a Vidic type player or like a Ruben Diaz, obviously. Um, and that's amazing because, like I said, guys, it's always important to check that out first with the center back cards because 
if they uh, can move smoothly while having the body type and the height that they have with the physical stats, it's very helpful for sure. Even his running after animation is not like incredibly slow. Like obviously in that situation, you don't want to overcommit your big player like that. Because, you know, e even if it's like a top tier meta card and you overcommit like that, it's just not super ideal because those through balls, man, they work like crazy. What a strange game, eh? We move. Oh, good tackle too. Possession based to my direction as well. Definitely take that. Oh, let's go, Fofana. Nicely done. Great interception by default, too. The height, bro. Height, body type, all that stuff is going to be work. It's going to be uh, nice to work with for sure. Oh, let's go, Fofana. My boy. See, over there, you got to watch those runs, man. Those through balls, they work like crazy, bro. You got to watch those. I'm liking this card, guys. He's, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this much right now. He's going to be worth the grind, bro. Especially for those links. A good center back with good links, boys. I'm just saying. We'll make that work. Dude, he's so freaking massive. Look at him. And he actually dribbles really well with the height that he has. It's crazy. Free kick accuracy 60. That means he'll go, he'll go for the goal scoring opportunity here. Watch. First time. <laughs> I mean, there, we tried it. Let's see how fast he goes back into position here. Oh, we control other players. Tracks that guy the entire time. Good stuff. Gets back into position quickly. This guy will probably make this pass here. No? Middle pass. We'll do a little bit of shielding. Yeah, gets back into position quickly. Marks really well as well. I don't think defensive awareness is really going to be a big issue for him, to be honest. Because if he has really high tackling for standing tackles and sliding tackles with the height that he has, it's going to be nutty. Okay, next up we have... This should be a good team to face off against, actually. Yeah, this one should be really good. Might be... It could be a 5-3-2, maybe. He might use one of the midfielders as a 5 at the back. Hopefully he attacks against us a lot, because that's definitely the most ideal situation for us. Back to the three at the back. Here you go. Dude, that little uh, L1, R1 right stick flick is crazy. We're going to overcommit some players here. There we go. This is perfect for the marking here. Chases after that guy the whole time. Beautiful first time pass as well. Nicely done. Legrand switch to the side. Let's go. Yeah, didn't get that initial challenge, but that one we do. Nicely done. This is a cool card, man. It's a really, really cool card. Huh, imagine. He's huge, bro. Oh, my goodness. No passing play, maybe? Oh? Oh, let's go, Fofana. Let's go. See, this is, this is hilarious, because before I even went into the gameplay, I literally mentioned how, hey, if you get yourself inside the 18-yard box from, like, a corner kick or something, and the ball just randomly falls a certain way, he actually has the shot power to be able to score. Shot power is important, man, because if your finishing is low, but you, ha you have a really high percentage strike, you're probably going to score the opportunity, right? Like, it's, it's, it's nice. And that's a really good example of it. <laughs> The thing about this game, right, is that like when I do defensive reviews, sometimes I actually use a defender, which they don't reward you for in this game because of that like avoiding defender passing assist assistance thing, you know? Oh, that shot cancel was glorious. That was beautiful. Chase after, let's go, baby. Look, man, it's actually really good. It's not bad at all. I'm gonna go back here. Watch this guy on the side. Switch. Watch us run. That's a crazy finesse shot, to be fair. I 
I just like to overcommit a little bit just to see if he can kind of get back into positions really quickly, you know? Like over here, I could probably do a challenge. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Guys that move like this, dude. It's so crazy. It's good. It's good, too, because he has the higher acceleration, guys. Like, it's that initial acceleration that you need when defending most of the times, right? Because if you overcommit a player, it's mostly your fault, right? Especially with the way that through balls work in this game, but... Alright guys, so final verdict on Sofana card. So, man, he is awesome to use. Another insane center back that plays for the French national team. Premier League links, Leicester City links. There's so many cool things you can work with. If you guys have the time to do this gameplay objective card, I would highly recommend it because it doesn't require wins to get him, right? It's just a matter of scoring a goal... Preferably with a French Premier League player. I was using St. Maximin to do the uh, gameplay objective, and he was doing a lot of work for me, man. He's a really good card to get. He's probably going to go up a little bit in price for the transfer market, but that's usually how it goes when it comes to uh, the gameplay objective cards. But in regards to how this card performs in game, man, the defensive awareness is not a big issue at all because of how good he is at defending in the other areas because of him working with his six foot three height, medium high work rates, and high and average plus body type. The biggest thing you have to test when it comes to center backs is certain defensive animations he's not a full meta card he's not on the level of Varane. Varane is a different breed because he literally has the craziest uh animations to defend and it's so noticeable like dude the first game that i used Varane this year i was like oh he's a full meta card because he just does these certain animations to be able to grab the ball off of people Right, so obviously with Favani, he's not a full meta card, but he's still really sick to use. I loved using him, to be honest with you guys, man. Uh, he's got great passing stats. There was a couple of opportunities where, whether it was a first-time pass or whether it was just like a nice little cross across the pitch, he's obviously very good at doing that. But the most important thing about this card is that he doesn't feel heavily emphasized when it comes to dribbling with the ball. He is a little bit, obviously, because he's a six foot three player with a high and average plus body type, but... If you have a body type like that, height like that, with dribbling stats like this, he's going to be amazing, guys. He's going to be a really good center back to get, man. I really, really recommend you guys get this card. It's not as stressful because you don't need wins for it, right? It's just scoring the goal and then, honestly, just do this little thumbstick thing, put it on your desk, and just let the game play out if it really stresses you out that much. But um, he's an awesome card. Shadow Chemistry style works a lot for him. Hopefully, they give a card to Ricardo Pereira in the future because... That little link up would be super nice with this car, man. But yeah, I think he's definitely worth getting, dudes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.